German Premium Buyer's Guide. That's what I got for you today. There are sales coming up in War Thunder and which premiums are worth it and which ones are not. That is the topic of discussion today. Today, I give you the rundown for the German tech tree. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Haven here. The annual anniversary sales, as well as some Black Friday sales and some holiday sales, etc., 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 are coming up for 2023. So what I'm going to give you today are my opinions on the current state of the premium aircraft in the German tech tree as of 2023, the meta shifts and changes, try and watch something that's current. Um, before we do that, please take a minute to like and subscribe. I do plan on doing all the tech trees, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those videos. Here we go. German premium buyer's guide. Rank one. Do what you want here. You're gonna move past these so fast that unless you really want to spend some time at this rank, go ahead and skip it. Moving on, rank two. The IL-2, parentheses 1942. It is the German capture of this plane. Um, skip. Uh, my recommendation is skip. If you want to bomb bases, there are better options. If you want to do ground RB, CAS options. You've got better and more fun options in the German tech tree. You've got the duck, you've got all the Stukas. Only if you're like a really diehard fan of the IL-2, I don't know, skip. Yak-1B, this is a buy for me. If you're trying to grind through rank one and two quickly, otherwise, probably skip. I'd, I'd play it more if it was rank three. It's a great energy fighter. The lack of ammo will treat you trigger discipline it's a very forgiving plane for the br so it's kind of a tentative buy buy for me bv 238 aka the sky whale this is a buy for me simply for the memes this is a buy for me simply for the laser show i can i i, I think it can even be a decent base bomber rank two is still holding it back but if I didn't have the tech tree all ground out, it would definitely be in the rotation more. It's just kind of a unique plane to see and to play. It, it's a buy. The Wellington Mark 1C. This is a is probably a buy. I, I don't have this one, so I'm not speaking from personal experience on this one. But it's worth noting that this is a favorite of the base bombing bots. So taking that into consideration, I would imagine it's a very efficient grinder. So with that sort of tacit recommendation, the Wellington gets a thumbs up. It's just still rank two. So keep that in mind. Rank three, P47D-16-RE, AKA that guy with the funny mustache bolt. Um, this is a skip for me. I think this is one of the most deceptive premiums that people will actually recommend that are it's really a trap p47s are no longer in the meta they haven't been in the meta for a long time especially the early ones uh you you can make this work but you really have to know how to play p47s aka situational fighters uh, this particular variant doesn't even get secondary weaponry, which is actually kind of a big surprise, and it makes you it makes this option useless for ground RB, in my opinion, when you have a way, way better options. I think a lot of people look at this plane with nostalgia from the good old days, but in 2023, it is just not a good option. It's a skip. TA 154A1 aka the spruce goose this is a tentative buy it's an okay buy it has a lot of cannons in the nose and it starts with an interceptor spawn but unless you want to kill bombers and other interceptors it's just kind of mid but given it's your only rank three option for germany it kind of keeps it in the running so soft buy i guess but only if you're okay with the role that you're signing up Honorable mention. So the BV-155B1 is a previous battle pass vehicle and is on sale currently on the Gaijin market for about 30 bucks right now. It won't be on sale, but if you're looking for a quote kind of fighter option in the rank three Germany, 
It is viable for both air RB and ground RB. It doesn't get any ordnance, but it has a 30 millimeter cannon. And at that BR, it's quite effective. It, in, in air RB, it actually gets an air spawn. It's one of my favorites in pretty much the whole tech tree. So that's a strong recommendation. It is only rank three though, but yeah. The Falcon Wolf 190 A5. This is a skip. I don't have any personal experience with it. Deffen's video warned me off of it when it came out. He said it turns worse than even the other Falk Wolf 190s at the BR. Unless you're a Navy enjoyer because it has the torpedo, I think it's a skip. Rank 4. The Doe 335 B-2. This is a this is a buy. If you like World War II ground RB for Germany, which a lot of people do, this is a buy. So two bomb drops and then armor piercing 30 millimeter cannon with a decent ammo capacity. Uh, it's pretty strong. I mean, I'll be honest. I kind of suck with it as I fly it like a fighter and then I end up plowing it into the ground. But if I spent some serious time with it, it's really solid option. Could be, it could double in ARB as well as like a bomber hunter. Uh, but you'll have to play on the same team as the, as the JU 288s, which is just, eh, it's awful. Balkwolf 190 D-13. This is a, this is a pretty strong buy. It's a rare prop fighter premium for Germany. And given your options, it's a buy. For Air RB, it has a lot of down tier potential, especially if you're good with Falk Wolf 190s. Ground RB, it's not as good as the F-8 with that huge bomb that the F-8 can carry, but it does have a de decent secondary bomb uh, load options. So. 5-0, you either get a really solid down tier or you get an, a huge up tier. But it's still, for what, what the options are out there, it's a buy. JU-288C is... It's a buy. Hold your nose and buy it. Especially if you're just hitting that like mid-tech tree grind. It's a fantastic Silver Lions grinder and a grinder in general love to hate it hate loving it be prepared for like three and a half minute queue times even half decent and ground rb because of the bombs speed and the defensive armament as much as i would like for this premium and plane in general to just not exist in the game at all please give me back my ge if i can't get it to be deleted from the game it's it's a buy BF109Z-1, aka the Zwilling, I've said this in other videos, this is like one of my favorite props in the whole game. It's a strong buy if it comes up again. I don't, probably not going to be on sale here, which is too bad because it is a super funny looking, super fast climbing and very fast at altitude. Um, it's got a low ammo capacity and low velocity cannons, but when they hit, man, they hit. This is basically the German F-82, if you will. I, I love mine. I, I play it every time I get like a bomber kill task, and I just love it every single time I, I bring it out. Rank 5, G1, G91 R4. This is a soft buy. Uh, I have a whole video on this and how it's holding up in the current meta. Buy if you don't want to ease into jet combat. Uh, buy like like buy if you enjoy the 8.7 BR, which has kind of its own flavor. Um, it's not as good as it once was, but it's still very solid. Like I said, I have a whole video on it. Go check out that video. Rank six. So. Your options here, it's the MiG-21 SPS-K. It's a buy, I guess, especially with the sale. Um, with the new BR reduction, it's sitting in a much better place, but it's still a flareless jet that faces all aspect missiles uh, and some other pretty strongish missiles like E's and D's. You're gonna catch them in the face occasionally. I personally run two R3R radar missiles and an R60 with the gun. I wouldn't recommend taking the flare pod instead instead of the gun. Yes, you can only pick one, as you'll really limit your contributions to the match. But given your options, 
uh, the SPSK is is a, is a buy. So let's go talking about if I had to start from zero and wanted to get into jets as soon as possible with what I know now. I would probably bite the bullet and get the SPSK or the G91. And once I got to the MiG 21 MF or the F4F, I'd throw a talisman on one of those and just grind the rest of the way. Um, I've also used the Tornado IDS to do a good bit of grinding, but that's $50 on the market and really not worth it. Um, so. I would use the SPSK to get you there or the G91 to get you there and then uh, grind to the rest of the way with those. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, mash that like, subscribe button again. Um, I'll be doing all the nations. Check out the channel um, and check it out for future videos that I do. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you think and uh, have a good one, YouTube.